my name is Nadia Spitzer. I'm a professor of biology at Marshall University. And in that capacity, I run a research lab with students, mostly undergraduate students, some master's students. And I also teach um, core courses in the biology department. West Virginia NIFTY. It's actually an NSF project, an SF-funded project, is a Track 1 RII, which stands for Research Infrastructure Improvement. And so the universities that are involved in this particular RII are WVU, Marshall, Shepherd University, and West Virginia State University. In terms of research, the NIFTY aims to look at very high re resolution, so very small level of how the brain changes in response to input. That's what all of us are studying across all the universities. And so theme one focuses on circuitry, right? And so this cell talking to that cell and then talking to that cell. And in theme two, we focus right at the connection, so the synaptic plasticity. In my lab, we use rat brain sections to look at real morphology of neurons and of the connections between neurons. Really the last frontier, you know? Like the brain, we know it does all these things. We really have very little idea of how it does it because it's so complicated and so much stuff going on in such little space and it's also little and it's hard to get in there and look. And so when we can, it really just looks like confetti. It's like green and red confetti and you really have to know what you're looking at. You know, if you just came and looked, you'd be like, oh, it's a bunch of dots. But each one of those dots is a place where two cells talk to each other, which is amazing. And in our brains, we have millions and millions of these places where cells talk to each other. And now we can actually see those and we can see how they change, which is so exciting. The project has been really, really effective in bringing together researchers at different universities across the state, right? Because we have these regular meetings and that has allowed for kind of the organic generation of collaborations and also just kind of a resource for all of the researchers with people who have expertise in things that we're trying to get into. So for example, for us at Marshall, we through this project got our fancy stead microscope and through the project, we have now a direct link to Martin Hruska at WVU, who is an absolute expert and one of the forefront people on instead microscopy. So it just facilitates progress and productivity for everybody to kind of have this new network established. So the project has a lot of support for student mentorship and student training. And so we bring on undergraduates very early in their careers, which is, which is critical, you know, because then they can learn the techniques and they can start actually producing things and having a real body of work and a real understanding of their project and the science by the time they go on. Cheyenne Tate, who is one of the people we hired through this project, she just came on last fall. She's just building up her lab right now here at Marshall. She's got four students in her lab already. She looks at sea slugs and at different kinds of flies um, and how they respond to odor. And so again, how their brains, their nervous systems change in response to these kind of normal inputs that they get in their lives. I have um, a lot of students in my lab, more than a dozen right now. They all have independent research projects, so they have their own little slice of what the lab does as a whole. You know, it's just, feeds my soul to come in and just go in there and be at the bench with them and then have that light come on or have them find their place. You know, this is where I belong. These are my people. Just, it's just lovely.